Okay, so I was, I have a HP uh, all-in-one desktop computer and it was mailed to me improperly and it was crushed on the edge so the touch screen is broken. So what I had to do to replace it, I had to take the base off, which this is the base. You need to pry this plastic piece off and you raise it up and then there's two screws under it. So let me show you where the screws are. See, one screw there and one on the other side. And that comes out of these areas. Here and here. So you take those screws off first. Then the next thing you do, you need to pry off this cover. Okay, and then you need to remove the screws. So there's, I think it was nine screws. So you need to remove all of these screws on the top here. These were holding down the screen. Right, and there's also uh, some screws on the bottom edge here. I think there was like six of them. All right, so these, these bottom ones were holding these parts. Right, and then you have to remove all the other screws. So there was, I think, nine in all. Right, and there's even one all the way down there. Right, and then you need to just pry up the corners until the screen comes off. Now the screen is held in. Now there's three ribbons which you need to remove. Right, there they are. So one of the connectors is here, another one is here, and the third one is over here. So you need to pull all of those three off. All right, if you look at the machine, it's really very small. It's almost like a motherboard, uh, like you might probably find in a laptop. This is a small SSD drive. I think it's an M2 drive. And this bay here was, is where you would find a standard 3.5 inch hard drive. It's empty because it's not in use. All right, this is the fan, the heat sink tube, heat sink here and the tube to vent the heat. And the rest of it is all plastic. So to replace the machine, to replace the screen, you need to do a search for this part. This part number with the SS and the E S5 and E5. And I did a search on eBay. They were the only people to have it and it was about $250 for it. And then the next thing you do is you need to take off this whole plastic piece and all the cables and then fit it to the new one. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so there's many small screws. You've got to take out two from here. And then there's one, two, So these cables on the side, you just squeeze them and pull them out. This one takes a bit of effort. You need to do the same, squeeze on both sides and pull them out. There is a piece of tape here though, so I didn't see that. So you just need to pull it out and just peel it back and then reinsert them into the other screen. Do them one at a time so you know which, where each one goes. All right, and then when you take the shield off this plastic housing, there is a piece of tape that's holding it together at the ends here. You need to peel this off and then take it off. This is on the top. All right, while I'm here, just double check and make sure the part number you have for the display is the right one. And then continue. Okay, so to reconnect the cables, you just line it up and push it in. This one here, the other one is labeled motherboard, which goes right here. The third one you need to lift up this so it clicks upwards and then you put the ribbon cable between there and then push this down. 
Okay, there it is. All right, so you just feed the cable in and you just push down that white clip to lock it in place. While you're here, you might want to just take a note of where the battery is. It's a CR2032. In the event, you need to replace it. All right, so here I am. I'm going to button it all up. Um, just put it together and then put the screws in. So these are the screws remaining. If you notice, they're all the same height. So you need to just put the screws back here. Not these. There's one in the middle here. So after you put all the screws back underneath, then you put the panel. Put the that you don't actually you put the base on first, put the screws on, and then you close the panel. You just snap it in place, all right? Then put this one on, snap it in place all the way through, all right? And um, that's it. Just fire them up, and it should be good to go. There it is.